What is up guys, Dual Gamers HD here and today I'll be reviewing and showing you how to install a plugin called Biome Edit. So as you can tell, I'm in a very brightly green area with some nice walls and all. But it's this large jungle area, but you're like, wait a minute, there's a jungle, a forest, snowy forest, desert, and a here this area. So there are actually a bunch of different biomes in this whole area. But with this plugin, I made it all just one brightly green jungle area. See, as you can tell, like the hills over there are kind of bright green. But look, the ocelots are actually spawning in here. Kind of annoying, but I guess it's cool. Oh, look at your baby ocelot. Oh, little guy. You better run. Anyway, slash biome is what you need to type, and it gives you all the commands that you can use. So we'll do slash biome list. Tells you all the available biomes. So you got rain, forest, mushroom, shore, uh, forest hills, sky, all that. So we'll just do slash biome modes. This gives you all the modes you can use. So round, you can have a round biome, a square biome, replace, um, World Edit, World Guard, you can use your regions that you've selected with that. And then there's Brush and Brush Off. I'll show you the brush after I show you the set. The set. Show. Biome. Set. So we want this to be... Hmm. Desert. They don't have to be capitalized or anything. They can still be lowercase. Uh, desert. And... I guess we'll do, hmm, we'll just do a square. And then we shall do a radius, a radius of 35. That's random radius. It can be, it can be anywhere from, uh, I think it's 5 to 500. So it's a pretty, pretty wide area that you can go to. That will probably crash your server, though, if you do do that. So we'll just enter. There we are, square desert biome. The radius 35 created at 40 th uh, 432 to 82. So if we do a little shift F3, it is exactly where we're standing. So shift F3 again. Now let's disconnect. And you have to join back to see it, that it recreated it. And there we have it. Look, it's a big desert, a large deserty square. But if you notice, it has, like, little patches in it and stuff. So if you want to get rid of that, you just type the exact same thing again. Uh, what was it? What was it? I will do 40 because I'm not in the exact same spot. 40. Uh, is that all I need to type? Yeah, I think so. Disconnect. Join again. So it's like you, you got to add a few layers, and now there are no splotchinesses, no splotchies. But uh, that's the first part of it. So now we're going to type slash biome again. And there's slash biome brush. So we shall do brush, brush, the brush, brush. God, that sounds so weird. Um. But we gotta do the mode now, so we'll do round on this one. And then we'll do the radius, just such a brush. A uh, brush. We'll do 15. And there we are. Wow, nice. Where do I put the biome? Right there. Yeah, here we go. Uh, jungle, because we're in a jungle. Because I want it back to be. I want it to be jungle again. There we are. A fly on and then you right click with the uh, this thingy shrub there you go now we should have a little line going across this so let's see if that actually worked because usually the brush doesn't work too well for me ooh it's not a little, that's a big line. But it worked. 
so I will uh, see you guys again whenever we do world the world edit in the region uh, modes all right I am back with uh, the biome edit so I will be showing you how to use the world edit it's not very not too very complex I'll we'll just select this little area right here we'll select this area right here we we'll use slash biome slash biome set biome mm, mm, uh, 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 oh no I don't know what biome to do oh no oh no we shall do hmm what do you want to do oh yeah swampland is that what you're thinking that's what I was thinking too biome set swampland and the mode world edit and radius I don't know, 40 oh tee -hee. all right I don't know if I should do that too right but hmm Hmm. There is a problem with my selection. Span vet. Right. Slash biome set swamp. And world edit. Isn't that all we need? Or do I seriously need the perimeter? Hmm. We'll see. Let's let's try this. Oh, holy cow, it has worked. So with World Edit, you have to select the entire area, like not just this area. It's got to be from top of the sky to the bottom of the bud bedrock. So to do that, you type slash slash expand and then vert, or vertical, and expands it from top to bottom, like what it says. Right, so that's that. And once again, if you want to get rid of these, you just do a double layer. Double layer. Expand. Oh, crap, I forgot what it was. I'm such a fool. Biome. Set. Swampland. Whoops. Well, oh, okay, never mind. Th yeah, that's for the shading purposes, so it blends in. Yeah, so I guess you can't fix that, but... I guess if you selected it, like, on this little fence block right here, then you selected it right here, you did expand. Anyway, so now onto the region. Slash region. Slash slash region. Slash 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 region set. Oh, fail. I don't have World Guard. Well, I'm sure you can find another video on that. But those are the basic stuff for uh, biomes. And uh, I will. Uh, oh, wait, one more thing. If you do mushroom or mushroom biome, it does not set the grass to mycelium. It is still grass, it's just like swampland color. So you have to actually put in the um mycelium mycelium I don't know how to say it but uh have to put that in and then the mushrooms will, will automatically spawn on that so yes on that major fact and uh if you put an ocean biome in squids won't spawn on the grass or anything like that's actually be like water no that stuff 
So anyway, I will uh, see you guys again whenever I am working on the, uh, or I will be showing you how to install this beautiful plugin. So see you guys then. Alright, I'm back once again. We're now on the Bucket website. So we shall go to Bucket Dev. Oh, what's this? Anyway, that's none of the useless. Uh, server mods. Filters. New says search. Biome. Edit. Just like that. Ah, biome edit. Using biome edit, you can easily manage the biomes of your map. Features slash uses your ag... <laughs> anyway, so just gonna click on that. Tells you some of the stuff that I just showed you. But, uh, ooh, what's this? It's a crazy line. So, slash biomedic, what biome does not do? Actually, there's no uh, API in the bucket that will generate the map itself. It's in the biome code. Alright. So, you just click on derp load. Click on the jar. Oh, there it is. If you are on Windows, which I'm sure you are, else you would have stopped watching this by now. Just click on save as and then find your texture pack area so go to my desktop because that's where mine saved not texture pack, what am I saying? your server area I don't know why I named it texture pack server that's probably for something older I just need, I need to change that go right here click on plugins and uh... save yes, I want to replace it there we go, open folder and then once that's saved then the biome edit thing will pop up one too will pop up here once you actually start up your server so the config is pretty simple it's uh... just a max radius 500 threaded true and per sweep 1000 I don't know how to, I don't know what these two are but uh... the max radius you can configure that I guess and then there's biome edit, which I don't know, I'm not too sure what this file is for. I'm sure it's for something extremely important, but it's just blank. Oh, blankness. But that was easy. So, um, be sure to uh, like and li like if you liked it. Comment if you want me to um, do a or a video on how to install bucket itself, how to set that up. And then favorite if you want to favorite, like and comment if you want to suggest suggest a, a plugin for me to review. So you gotta do all that and type Oh, I want you to review Mob Disguise and I shall do it. What else? What else? What else? Subscribe please. And you're a very awesome person if you do that. So I will Talk to you guys soon. Peace off.